Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a video in which I will be covering the farm raid heist, the Cluck and Bell farm raid heist, and I will be showing you guys how to do the stealth approach without getting caught at all, and I'll be showing you guys how to do the aggressive approach. And I'll also be showing you guys the best weapons loadout to steal for both the stealth and the aggressive approach. So anyways, let's get started here. So when you're going to be steal uh, stealing your weapons loadout and you're also going to be stealing your gear, if you are going strictly for a stealth approach, you, are, you do not want to be detected by any enemies, then go for A and B. B gives you a little bit better weapons, but A is just so much easier. And A, again, if you're good at stealth, a, we'll, you'll be able to stealth still, no problem, which I'll show a little bit later. But A, like I said, it's the easiest one, and it's also the closest one. It is run by the Marubante um, Grande gang. So just clear all these guys, kill these guys right here. Now, the first time that I did this, I actually didn't see the little pop-up notification because I was busy actually killing all the enemies. And I picked up the weapons, and then I thought that there was no gear at this place. But there actually is gear. The gear is actually inside the trunk of the cars. So just run around once you clear all the enemies, open up the trunk of the cars, and you will get that. And that's it, you're done. That's for the stealth approach if you're going for it. Let me show you B. So B, this is also good for stealth approach, but it's a little bit harder. Um, B, you are going to be going on the ocean right here, and you're going to be going after the professionals. That's the name of the gang. I know people are going to laugh at it, but you're going to be going for that gang. And once you get on here, um, go through the lowered parts of the ship. Now, Vincent actually says that when you attack them again, they're going to be more on high alert. I don't know what he means by this exactly. Uh, I think what he means is that the enemies are quicker to detect you because the very first time that I did this, I was actually able to stealth most of the yacht without them seeing me. But now the first guy I kill, even if there's no other enemies in sight, I get instantly detected. So that's what I think about it is I think the enemies are just more vigilant um, when you do the missions a few more, a few times. But anyways, go through here, you kill these guys and then you just get the weapons. And then what you're going to do, go into this door where you see this little blue icon go in there and you'll be taken to the upper parts of the ship there's two guys to kill one in you know the main room here one on the left side um ki kill them and then take the gear be really quick and you don't have to fight any other enemies then just run right back to that blue door that blue icon i'm sorry and just go right back through the lower parts of the ship and you get on the jet ski and you get out go right back to the beach and get in your karuma and that's it so a and b these are good for stealth b has a little bit better weapons takes a little bit longer to complete it but if you're gonna be doing stealth like i said a or B. Um, these weapons are the best. And I'll show you guys all the weapons in each loadout, don't worry, um, right after this. Uh, now next we're going to be going for aggressive. If you are going for a purely aggressive approach, you're just going to be killing everything um, in sight, then you are going to be wanting to go for C. C is the militia one, which kind of like Meriwether, but they keep calling the militia. Drive up here at the Karuma and make sure you clear all these guys out. Um, kill them here, clear out the airfield really quickly. So then once you're done there, just kill all these guys on the airfield and in the hangar, you know, get the weapons and the gear, and that's it, you're good for the aggressive approach. Depending on what you want to get, A and B, like I said, for um, a stealth approach, I guess you can probably use B for aggressive, but C is just so much more effective for aggressive. So A and B for stealth, C for aggressive. And so now I'm going to show you guys what all the loadouts look like. The uh, gear is basically in this back room, right where you basically start. It's where you start in the stealth heist, right, right over here. Go up to this con this little fuse box, shoot it, and it opens the door. So now let me show you guys these loadouts. So this is the very first loadout. This is the Maribante Grande loadout, loadout number A. You get a Molotov, a compact pistol, which is suppressed. Every class has one suppressed weapon, the mini SMG, and the compact um, rifle. And you also get a crowbar, but it doesn't appear on here for some reason. But that means that when you go in the room where you have to open up the boxes, you don't need to look around for it, though it is very easy to find. Let me show you now the professionals loadout. A uh, professional's loadout, uh, this is loadout number B, and you get the heavy rifle, the tactical SMG suppressed, which this is, in my opinion, you know, the best weapon for, you know, stealth, automatic weapon, you know, good rate of fire, pretty accurate, perfect for getting headshots, the heavy shotgun, and pipe bombs. And lastly, we have loadout number C. Um, loadout number C, this is for the for the aggressive approach. Uh, this, you would be basically getting the MG, which is your best weapon for that, the AP pistol, the combat shotgun, and grenades. Now let me show you the gear or the armor. So for the Maribante Grande, we have light armor and low stamina reduction. And that, from what I've seen, all that pretty much does is that affects basically how fast you move. So with the light armor, you move the fastest. And if you are doing stealth, 
you're not going to get the light armor. There's really, um, you know, no purpose to getting the other ones unless you're worried about getting detected, but you could just, you know, blow up your character and just start over again until, you know, you finish the heist stealth. The heist is not hard at all to stealth. It's actually easier, in my opinion, than even than casino heist stealth. Uh, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then for professional loadout, loadout number B, uh, we have medium stamina, um, reduction, medium armor. So a little bit more armor. Um, we're going to be moving a little bit slower. And then finally, this is uh, this is loadout number C. Loadout number C, heavy armor for aggressive approach, large stamina reduction. So we're moving a little less um, slower, but this is basically what you're going to want to use. If you're going aggressive, this is the class that you're going to be using. You're going to have basically the most amount of health from it. But now let me show you guys how to basically change between aggressive and stealth, because it's actually very easy to do so, but it's kind of weird how it's done. Before I talk about the stealth approach, I just wanted to go over one quick point really fast, which I talked about in my last video. For the getaway vehicle, make sure that you get getaway vehicle A. You go here, and you just basically shoot the little um, panel, little power panel, from your armored Karuma, kill the two guys in the front, and just get the vehicle here. It's going to be a moonbeam van, or a four-door four sedan. That's it. It's the easiest vehicle to get. You just drive up north up here and you just get on the train tracks and you get there it's the easiest one it's the closest one to the uh to the garage it's very easy to escape from the enemies you don't got that much chasing you and just get on the tracks it's easy it's speed is not important here um you don't have to get the fastest car because the fastest car is protected by the professionals and they got the car boxed in and you're probably gonna spend a few minutes clearing out all the guys here you're gonna be you can get the car in less than 30 seconds literally if you're quick so that's just how much easier this vehicle is to get. So I always recommend just to get this vehicle, drive it to the garage, and just store it. The other two vehicles, you only get $10,000 for each of them, so you can get a bonus $20,000. So don't bother with them. Always get the getaway vehicle from uh, Group A. Group A is the one that you always want to get the getaway vehicle for. Okay, so now let's talk about how to do the stealth um, approach. So in the last setup mission, Disorganized Crime, you're going to be going after these two vans, you're going to have to hack them. It's actually easier just to shoot both of them out, because then you don't follow the van, you can just stop and hack it, you can hack even when they're dead. So just kill both of them right here, and you will see that they will actually drop a black duffel bag that's on the street. Go to that, that'll give you a cluck and bell disguise. Um, this won't give you full, you know, stealth, but it'll make it a little bit easier for you, because it's a lot harder for the enemies to spot you. So we get that disguise. Now what we're going to be doing is going after the second van, kill them, hack them. Okay, now we're going to be going into the garage. And once we are in the garage, um, there's a few ways that, to go about it. Um, you can uh, kill everybody quietly, which I'll show you guys how to do it. Or you can actually go loud. If you're really quick, you can just kill everybody in there. As long as there are no witnesses and you wipe the CCTV and you disable the trucks, you will still be able to do it stealth. Uh, however, though, make sure you do not blow up the trucks. Because if even one truck gets blown up, you will not be able to do stealth and it'll automatically go to aggressive approach. So now let me show you guys how to kill everybody quietly if you're trying to do it this way. First guy that we're killing is this guy right here in the front in this van. Then take out that guy right there behind that truck, and then kill this guy. This guy will be walking across the room. Once he stops, shoot him in the head right above that crate there. Then get this guy standing near the shelf. Then get the camera, and then get this guy right here in the room. Headshot them. So we've already eliminated a huge chunk of them. I know there's a lot of guys in here. It's actually kind of easy to kill all of them. Now what we're going to be doing, go, going back to the side of the room where we started, going to the left side, getting right behind this truck here. And sometimes you might find a drill here, but it spawns randomly. But regardless, you'll be able to find it easy. Stand right here and wait until this guy passes. Um, once this guy passes, climb over this rail. You can melee him or just shoot him in the head. I decided to melee him. Then after you do that, shoot this guy in the head. Then go in this room slowly. Do not rush in here. And what you're going to want to do, get an automatic suppressed weapon, like I'm using the PDW right here, and just spray at their heads. Get them both really quick, both down quietly. Then we're going to be going into the next room. Slowly open the door. Kill a guy left right here, then kill this guy to the right. That's it. We've cleared it out, but not everybody is dead yet. Once you start drilling, two more enemies will show up, and then two extra ones will show up if they actually spot you. So once you start drilling, you will actually see two enemies pop up. Uh, what I recommend doing, start on the, you know, uh, the further end room, the left room, which I'm right here at. Hide right here, around this side. Wait until the guy comes in, and then just headshot him right around the corner. Then what you're going to do... Go down here, go into that um, first room, headshot that guy, and that's it. You are completely clear at this point, and now we're just going to be basically drilling the boxes, and we are going to be finding the yellow key card. Um, so the, the yellow key card, it just randomized. There's four sets of boxes. 
and you're going to want to drill all the boxes. Drill all of them. There's really no reason not to. Um, you get a little bit of extra money if you drill the other boxes. Now, how much do you get? I personally believe that this is $500 because I tested once. I actually had opened two boxes with, with bags. Um, one box was empty and one box had the yellow card, and I got $1,000. So I think that it's $500 um, per bag in here. But, but regardless, you know, just drill all the boxes. You get a little bit more money, a few extra thousand dollars, you know, just for a little effort. Once we take care of that, and we drilled all the boxes. We're going to be disabling all the trucks and disable them here. We're, again, remember, do not blow up any truck. If one truck even gets destroyed, just, you know, blow yourself up. Just restart it because you can just keep restarting this um, this section. As long as you don't leave, you can just keep restarting that. Go in here and just wipe the CCTV, wipe the cameras, and that's it. You are pretty much good, for, good to go. And again, remember what I said. If you get spotted in this room, you can just eliminate all the witnesses, um, and it'll still count as stealth. Just make sure, like I said, make sure that you do not blow up the trucks. Do not use any explosives if you're intending to do that. And then all we gotta do is deliver the flatbed to Vince's lockup. Okay, so now let me show you guys how to do this heist completely stealth. Kill everybody quietly, and I will be using loadout A for both the gear and the weapons. The Maribante um, Grande loadout which is, again, the easiest one to get, especially if you're doing stealth. It's the best for stealth. And you guys will see me um, initially start out with the military gear, but that's because I just had that equipped beforehand, but I'm going to switch to Maribante um, Grande loadout right away here, both for the armor and the weapons. Uh, but anyways, again, loadout A and loadout B is the best for stealth. I don't recommend loadout C, the military one, because it has a shotgun, um, because that's going to be a lot harder to get headshots with. So anyways, go behind this crate right away here, and what you're going to want to do is shoot that little panel there, uh, that little power box. Wait for this guy to come over here. He's going to check up on the door. It's an easy way to get rid of another guy, get him away from the main group. Come behind him, shoot him, or just, you know, knock him out. Here, you know, if you get extra loadouts, you know, you can change to it. Uh, but we're, you know, going to just be changing our armor to the Maribante Grande thing. There's a little bit of a glitch where you actually keep the helmet from the, um, from the military the military helmet if you actually change, but I don't think it really does anything. I don't think it affects any kind of, you know, stats. So again, the reason I don't recommend the military um, one, unless we're going for the aggressive one, is because it's a suppressed shotgun. Yes, you can complete the heist quietly with that, but it's just a lot harder to get headshots. Yes, you could one-hit kill them if you're close range with the torso, but I personally like going for headshots with the stealth, and I just don't like risking the target getting knocked down and alarm starting. Okay, so now we have that taken care of. We're going to be taking our combat pistol here. And again, A or B class, you know, to do it stealth. Tactical SMG works better, but I'm just showing you guys with class A, you can do it quickly too. So take care of this guy right here, but make sure you wait until that guy over there, he turns and he's walking back other way. Drop that guy, climb up this platform, shoot this guy. Then we're going to be shooting the power box. Once the power box me, uh, gets shot, the gate will be opening up. There's me, a guy standing right there. Wait until the gate lifts up a little bit. Shoot him in the head because he'll instantly start moving towards you. That's it. He's taken care of. Now just wait around this corner. The second that you go in here, it triggers another, another enemy. He will be walking right towards you. The second he walks around this corner, he's going to stop for a second. When he stops, shoot him. Easier to do that instead of when he's walking, you don't want to miss. Okay, now we're going down this hallway. Take care of this guard to the left. Shoot him in the head. Then what we're going to be doing is aiming at these two guys. Shoot the guard in the head first, then hit the worker next. Now what we're going to be doing is um, taking a look at these two guards right here. We're going to be dropping this guy first. This guy that's on the left side here on his phone. Wait until the guy behind him stops. He's, you know, staring right at the opposite wall. Shoot this guy in the phone, and then shoot this guy next. The two guys over here don't need to shoot them because when you move up to them, they will actually um, start moving away. Now we just put the key card in. Once we put the key card in, we're going down here. Shoot the guard to the right first. Shoot the worker next. And then shoot the other worker. I don't think it's required to kill the workers, but I just, just kill them just in case. Just because I don't want to get spotted. So I don't think, you know, they even do anything. But again, just not taking chances. And then you just pack up all the cocaine here. I'm just going to skip through this here um, uh, because this is just, you know, just packing it up. Then we're going to, you know, back up here. Now, open this door slowly. Shoot this guy here to the left. Then shoot this guy. Now here, don't shoot this guy right away. This is, I messed up on this a few times. There's going to be this guy that's going to be walking in here. And he'll instantly see that guy if you drop him quickly. Get all the way to the back here. Wait until this guy stops. Then shoot him. Then shoot this guy. Now we're going to be going into the next room here. Once you're in the next room, 
shoot the guy to the right in the back that's in front of the red door. And then shoot this guy to the left. Easy headshots. Okay, so the Maribante um, Grande um, class, this actually comes with a crowbar, so I don't even need to look for it. It's weird because it doesn't appear in your inventory, but it's there. And then just start, you know, popping open these crates, you know, looking for the drugs. That's it. Okay, now we're going back out here. Going through here. And this part here, be careful. This part's easy to get spotted. So there's going to be this guy's me walking around. Wait until he turns. And he, he's going to turn to the left side. After he does that, shoot that guy. And then you can just wait for him to stop here. I like to wait till they stop this to be sure and precise my shot. Drop him. After that, what you're going to want to do is keep an eye on this guy here because it's easy to get spotted here. There's a guy behind him, see? So that's why you want to check your minimap. Wait until he turns. Okay, he's turned. Shoot this guy in the head. Climb over this really quick. Shoot that guy because he's going to turn around any moment. And then shoot this guy in front of the door. And that is it. We have basically killed everybody in inside the uh, chicken factory um, quietly. We're going to want to get the keys. They were in that previous room. They'll appear on your minimap when you get near them. Don't shoot the lock because it'll, it'll trigger the alarm. Open this. Hack the computer. I'm going to use the hacking device. Now, the hacking device, you actually don't need to have the hacking device on you at all um, at all times. The hacking device, what it does is it just points you towards the right computer. The computers are going to be looking for. So if you're just looking in the direction of it, it's just right there. Just run straight, and you'll find it easily. Found this computer. Checking here. Here, I see it. This It's going to be this one. Got that one. And see, this one's going to be in the back hallway here. Okay. Hack that. Now we're going to get a code, 618621. This code is randomized, so it's going to be a different code every time. 618621. Got that. Okay. There's going to be an alarm going off now, but don't panic. That's just going to happen regardless when you're doing it in stealth. Shoot this power box. Opens up the gate. Okay. Now that we're out here, uh, what we're going to want to do, take out this guy right here to the left side on the street. Wait till he stops. Get rid of him. Get rid of this guy behind the truck. He's taken care of. Move a little bit over here to the side. Take care of this guy on the phone. And you can get this guy back here. And now what we're going to be doing is going this side. I like to go this side around the factory. Shoot this guy over here. I actually found a pretty good route on this side. Shoot this guy over here. We can take care of this guy over here. Just go for headshots. Take your time. And even if you, you're you slow with this, chances are you're still probably going to get it under 45 minutes. So I wouldn't worry too much. Okay. So now what I like to do is I like to actually climb up on this truck. Climb up on this truck and climb up on this little roof here, up this ladder. I don't think this is a coincidence. I think they put that truck there on purpose just so you have another you know strategy to climb up on the roof. And now we're up on the roof. We are going to want to take care of this guy. He's going to be moving here. You can wait until he stops, or you can be a little bit more precise, but I don't like him getting too close to the other enemies. So just wait for it. Get a headshot on him. And now just climb right down. Now what we're doing, shoot this guy. And I'm just going to take care of this guy over here just to make sure he doesn't spot me too. And that is pretty much it. We get into the garage. And we get in the vehicle. Now, I'm going to speed this up by, you know, five times speed. So I'm going to really speed this up right now. Um, but uh, basically, all you need to do at this point, just take a right here. And uh, once you drive down these tracks a little bit, actually, uh, what's going to happen is there's going to be a single cop there. Now, you can either, you know, kill the cop quietly or you can just drive right past him. Either way, it doesn't matter because the cops can actually cannot get you on these tracks. You're pretty much home free at this point. But regardless, I'm going to just get out here, headshot him really quick. Uh, let's just take care of that right now, and I'm going to speed the clip up. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're just going to speed this clip up. And so that's it. All you need to do, go right, you know, take care of that, you know, that cop there, and just, you know, follow the train tracks. Keep following them. Eventually, you're going to get to the point in Sandy Shores, and you're going to take the opposite way. So the same way you actually took to get this getaway car there, you're going to use the opposite way now to get back there. You're going to be roughly taking the same route. Once we're in Sandy Shores, we're jumping down here, and at this point, 
when you're in Sandy Shores, the um, you will be able to lose the cops. You actually cannot lose the cops when you are in Polito Bay, but once you're in Sandy Shores, you will be able to lose the cops. Start going in the fields, drive around for a little bit, and you'll lose the cops, and that is just pretty much it. That is how you complete the heist, complete stealth. Now let me show you guys how to do it aggressive. Okay, let me show you how to do aggressive. Now, to do aggressive in the last setup mission, when we go to that garage, you know, disable the trucks, the mission is called Disorganized Crime, what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically be going loud and blowing up all the trucks here. It's kind of weird how you trigger an aggressive approach, is that you have to kind of fail this mission in a way. So, you got to go through here and just blow up all these trucks and kill these guys. Um, I guess blowing up only one truck does it. Um, you'll get, you know, already have aggressive approach at that point. But, you know, just go in here. Kill all these guys and just blow up these trucks. That's all you pretty much have to do. Um, and you might as well, like I said earlier, is drill the boxes because you do get some extra money. Don't bother wiping the CCTV and just kill everybody. And that is just pretty much it. We have now triggered the aggressive approach. Now, when you're escaping from the cartel because you're not going in the flatbed once you know you, you go loud in there, um, I recommend to go into this subway system here or any kind of underground tunnel because you'll just be able to lose the cartel quickly and easy. They can't follow you down here, and, you know, that's pretty much it. They are lost, and, you know, we've completed that mission. Okay, so now I'm going to be speeding this clip up two times just to save time. The cutscene is going to be a little bit different. If you're actually quick here at the start, you can actually take out two guys before they uh, hit the shutters. But just shoot that fuse box, that power box, and, uh, you know, opens up the shutters again. And again, we're using, you know, gear C for this, you know, military gear, you know, armor, and also weapons. We're using that machine gun. That machine gun is literally the best weapon here. Just knocks them down to the ground. Does so much damage. Clear out that first room. And then in here, just take your time. Mow these guys down. You can get them all in a pattern. Take all these guys out. And this guy right around this box, he hides here, so just watch out for him and melee him. That guy, you know, caught me off guard. And before we actually go into the first area with the key card, clear out this room as much as possible. The reason you want to do that is because these guys will actually run into the other room. When you're putting the key card in, they'll come up behind you and shoot you. Um, and so that's, you know, way for you to take a lot of damage. But regardless, when you're wearing this armor, you're take, you're, you have just a lot more health. So we go in here. Um, this part was a little bit embarrassing because I wanted to actually see if I could chuck the grenade, get it right down there. And I just failed with that miserably. But there's only really one guard in here that, you know, tries to kill you. These are just workers in here. Um, you know, we got them. And, you know, here, just, you know, get all the coke. That's pretty much, that's it for that first part. Collect this next. And, you know, I'm sorry about speeding this clip up, guys, but I just, you know, I didn't want, you know, just to show the whole thing, just, um, just regular time. I didn't want the video to be too long. I wanted to get, you know, more straight to the point. And uh, for people wondering, why do, um, stealth if you can just do aggressive? The reason is because if you do actually aggressive, you actually have more enemies to fight. Than the, in, in stealth, there's actually less enemies to fight. Because once you kill them all, no more respawn. But here, um, guys will constantly actually spawn behind you. So, yeah, that's, you gotta watch out for stuff like that happening. Go into the next room here, take out these guys here. We're going to have to find the crowbar. It's easy, you know, on just one of those pallets. Open up these crates here. Get the coke, one more. It's going to be in the last crate. Okay. Now we're back in here. A few more guys are going to spawn. Make sure you keep armoring up and stacking up because even with this armor, uh, you do still take a considerable amount of damage. Clear these guys out. Snack up and armor up. Move into the next room. Clear it out. And just watch for people constantly coming up behind you because they do spawn behind you. Watch that radar. Clear this out here. Watch out for those guys spawning behind you. Clear this out. This guy. And a few more are going to spawn behind you. Just keep killing all of them. Get this key. You could, I guess, just shoot the lock at this point. Um, but they were just saying there's going to be further alarm. So I just didn't want to risk it. So I just took the key. Hacked off his computer. And you're going to watch those guys. Because like I said, look at, this, look at how aggressive they are. Just keep rushing you. That's why I like to kill as many of them as possible. Just so they don't come up behind you. And find the right computers. Here's one. Watch out for these guys spawning. Let 
Next computer. Just keep snacking up, armoring up, use that machine gun. We got one more computer here. It's going to be this one. Got it. That's three. Go in the office. Okay, we put in the code. Open it up. Get it right out of the safe. Shoot this panel. And now here you're going to have this helicopter chasing you. You can shoot it down, um, but I just didn't bother. I just kept moving personally. Watch out for the guys flanking you. Now here's the thing. You actually cannot take cop cars. Uh, you can't. I tried to do it. I tried to see if I could just get in the cop car and just leave right here. But unfortunately, it doesn't let you actually use it. You actually have to take the getaway car. So just push through these guys really quick. This street, right, right where the entrance of the factory is, like that entrance that parking lot back there, is the worst place you can get caught in. Just keep pushing. And climb up on this. You can climb up on this pickup truck or on the Cluck and Bell truck. Climb up the ladder. You can use that to get basically get around a huge ton of them, just so you don't have to deal with it. Climb down here, and we're going to take out a few more of these guys. Use the grenade there, and we just get in the getaway car. Um, and just follow the train tracks again, you know, going this way. And again, make sure that you guys check out my friend um, Pearson 2005s channel, uh, because my friend um, Pearson 2005 he actually showed me this escape route, the right side. And I gotta say, it works so much better than the left side because I kept taking the left side route um, originally on this heist, but left going left side on the tracks is actually harder and more complicated. Right side is easier. So make sure you guys check out my friend Pearson's channel. Um, he's a great guy. Thank you for that tip, Pearson. I do really appreciate it, man. Uh, but anyways, you know, just follow this tunnel, go through here, and the only difference between escaping on aggressive and stealth is that on aggressive, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna have that helicopter chasing you, but once you get to Sandy Shores, it's really not gonna pursue you, and you're gonna have four stars instead of three stars, but it's really easy, once we get into Sandy Shores, we can start losing them, go in the fields again, and losing them right away. And there we go, you know, we've lost the cops, and we drive right back to Vincent, and that is just pretty much it. That is the, um, that is the entire heist, that is, you know, how to do it, um, so remember what I said, guys, the tips that I gave, is getaway car, always use getaway car A, it's just the easiest to retrieve, just so quick, use that, you know, shoot that panel on the roof, just get it, don't have to kill those guys, can get that vehicle in less than 30 seconds. For aggressive approach, if you're doing aggressive, always get C, the military gear, gives you more health. And just, you know, better weapons for dealing, but it's not a good, the suppressed shotgun, I don't recommend for a suppress, um, uh, for a stealth approach. If you're going for stealth, get A or B. A is the easiest one to get. B is a little bit more challenging, but you guys saw, I did it with the compact pistol suppressed. Kill everybody with just headshots, so it is doable. So that's pretty much it for this guide. Um, this is, you know, this is pretty much my last video, I guess, covering this heist. I think I've pretty much covered everything that I can think of in here. Um, if, um, uh, if there's anything else that I did not cover, please let me know, you know, in the comments down below. Um, and I will also have a review. So I'll have a review coming up on this uh, DLC, just reviewing it, giving my, you know, ultimate thoughts on it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do drop a like. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.